Hi guys. Hello, hello, hello. I'm King Cam. I'm Daddy Pops. You guys don't wear me. Really. I don't so. No problem. Let's continue. The right is in the. We don't have the phones for yeah. the techers. <laughs> Shit. That means we all don't have the phones. <laughs> He's Una Papa. Who are you? Your your big brother. Mm, not big brother, child. And you're watching Unhinged. Unhinged. Welcome, 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 welcome. Thank you for having so, me. Let's start off nice. How's everyone's week? Mm. This week was interesting, but productive. Did anything crazy, anything unhinged happen? I got reunited with my PA on domestics. Oh, oh this she couldn't love. survive without me. All day. He was literally messaging me. He messaged me being like, hey, so what are you up to today? I was like, oh, I'm doing my hair. He said, okay. I said, okay, I'll come after I do my hair. I was like, okay, so I continue doing my hair. He now said, hey, so what's your ET? I said, you miss me. You miss me. <laughs> this is what they call true love. Should I show you the chats? I, I don't need chats, to see so. any chats. You want to put the whole conversation in context? <laughs> no. Uh-huh. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay, oh, oh. yes, put it in context. I had surgery on my shoulder a few weeks ago, so I can't pull my shirt by myself. Okay, so I need so to come back for me to put my shirt on. <laughs> so the only reason you wanted to see me was to, for me to put on your shirt. And other things. She helped me put on my deodorant. And she's my... Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 hey. Why show me, me that words? I, I don't understand. So I beg you miss me. Of course I missed you, huh? That's all I needed to know. You know, she's yeah. obsessed with people telling her nice things. Yeah. That's what she wants to hear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No problem. Let's talk about your week. Well, I was asking if anything on him. Please, we have a guest. Can we be hospitable? Okay, sorry. Did anything on him happen this week? I showed her I got hinged. <laughs> That's a good one. And you remain hinged in Jesus' name. Amen. Bro. Madam. I was reunited with my boo over here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You know, she's depressed at the moment. <laughs> yes, I'm <laughs> depressed. My dog died. That was the terrible thing that happened to me this week. So I had I had like a mental breakdown, but I'm fine now. So everything you've been having before is not a mental breakdown? No, I've just been having like moods, like mood swings, but this was a full-on mental breakdown. You no, know, Camille can't tell you the truth on this one. Hmm. I think we should just move on. What <laughs> a chaotic thing happened this week? I told you that my dog died. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Condolences. You can borrow mine if you have any. You'll no, have to in the house. Jiggly puff. And yeah. then we now have cookie. I don't want any of those crazy accents. They call cookie cookie lion. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, well, I'm fine. Thanks for asking, guys. Well, I asked you, so how was your week? I said thanks for asking. Why are you always so spicy, baby? Because spi- variety is the spice of life. <laughs> <laughs> Um, what happened to me this week? Nothing actually. It's been a quiet week. I think sometimes, sometimes quiet. Not every time dynamic. I agree. All right, all right, all right. Should we jump into our icebreakers? Yep. Okay, so this is welcome to our icebreakers. How it works is I ask a question, just to set the tone. Then you answer first, Asa answers first, and then Delhi pops, you go next. Okay, first icebreaker. Um,. What would you do if you're in therapy and in the middle of your session, police bust in and arrest your therapist? <laughs> <laughs> I got, wait, in that? Yes. I'll just laugh. <laughs> I'll just laugh, honestly. Because what else I would do, really and truly? You're bearing your heart and soul. Like, police say, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. I'll check her notes uh, or his notes. Well, I'll just go to the address. I'll open and just be, find out what they'll be writing about other people. <laughs> oh, please collect all my yeah, papers. I'll, I'll collect everything, though. <laughs> Before they say, oh, every day is going to pack all the things in the office. Okay. If you had to lips one of these three people, who would you choose? Abacha, King Jong-un, and Trump. You should just call my lips. <laughs> <laughs> you know lips any. For what? You have, no, you're about to die and they say you must kiss one of these three. The people. gas mold me, oh, honey. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what if I throw Daddy Gio into the mix? Jesus Christ. Who is Daddy Gio? Oh, oh, kill me, please. <laughs> I'm lifting Kim Jong Un. Why? You know, I like, I like authoritative. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not lifting you. You now said it's going through you. You don't join. <laughs> okay. Last, last icebreaker. You're going for a meeting. You're rushing. Like you're, you're very, very late. You're rushing. You rush out of your house. Like you don't check anything. You get to the meeting, busting, and you realize that you're naked. <laughs> Because in your rush, you didn't wear clothes. In the words, in the wise words of one of my great friends, you rush in, <laughs> you rush, rush out. out. <laughs> <laughs> what uh, would you do? 
You, madam. What will I do? Mm -hmm. I should answer first. I'll borrow. I'll have somebody there. I'll say, come, come and give me ten. Give, give me your shit. But you don't have your wallet. Okay. You don't have anything. I have my phone now. You don't have shit. You don't have anything. I'll you just rush out. Just give me the shit. Don't worry. I'll balance you later. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody there? Just say, just come. come. Just give me shit. Good. <laughs> so what will you do? I already told you that. You rush, you know, rush back out. Yeah. <laughs> you don't have to start cracking jokes. <laughs> I can't even go to the back and say, please, anybody here, just give me shit. <laughs> I'm already here naked. <laughs> okay. Um, so, on to the main episode. Our topic for today is nightlife. You guys, we've been going out in the night. As a pioneer club owner. Hmm. The to hottest be, club in Lagos. Where your box will be hot. You know the vibes. Did, did, did you see that there's, there's a babe that did basically um, how her box changed Change her, her life? life. I said to you. I've been changing yeah. lives my whole life. Ah, yeah. Una Papa for Ministries. Real. Una Papa for real. Wahala. <laughs> okay, so we've been going out for a while. We've been going out for... What has been... What would you guys say have been like... The, the most best, prolific. The most prolific, the maddest nights and the worstest nights? We have to remember the worst, but... Best nights of my life... One of them for sure, and a lot of my friends can relate. Um, Vola Nito's first that's album. what I was going to say. Yeah, yeah that was that, a good one. That's one. Uh, Hotbox 3.0 opening night Friday. Yeah, we had a good, a good time one. then. Friday. Damn, why are you always up in my shit? <laughs> why are you looking at me? Look at your, your PA. This one, the one I'm with me is different. Um, what else? That's is a memorable night. Oh, shit. Um... 2018, the night David won uh, Best International Act at the BTS. Ah, I don't remember most of the night. But that was a good night. Well, it was a great night. Any others? Hmm. Nice that she's been with me or you've been with me. No. Or just in no, general. No. Uh, what other nights would I say that I had that? Uh, uh, um. Um, every night in Johannesburg, Fair. I I did a boys trip with some of my friends in twenty seven twenty eighteen. Um, there was one particular night in Johannesburg. It was the weekend that Global Citizen had Jay Z, Beyonce, and everyone in town. That was a sick night. I've had I've had quite a few memorable Fair nights. Yeah. Have you had any nights that were just bad. not necessarily either bad or just so dynamic that like when you think back, you're like. What the fuck? Like, what, what was that night? If, yeah. There's one that I was speaking code. My, friend, my OG friends that don't know. <laughs> Bungalows. If you know, you know. That, that was a very... It took a, 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 it's a series of unfortunate events. This was when we were mad young. That definitely... I'll never forget that night in my life. Um, other nights have I had? I think one time I went to Dallas, like David's first ever booking in Dallas. Like, it was just such a shit show. From the minute we landed, the event, the promoter was so useless. It was just trash years ago. Um, what else? You don't work out. In, See how he's digging, digging, digging through the vaults. The, the vaults. <laughs> trying to think of recent nights that I've had that have been like, nah, waste of time. Mm, I can't think of any recent ones. Life's been good ever since. I can't yeah, think of that. That's yeah. nice. Yeah. What about you? I just want to say that when I, when I think about Adela and nightlife, I think about how much when she was on holiday, she was just like one thing about night, the rocks. The rocks in Lagos. Can I just say something? Like, going club in America is so whack. First of all, I'm sorry. If as a babe, I'm joining table with some other babes, you as a man, how can you come and join us on the table and be drinking our drinks? Is that not shameless? Yes. So this, this one is Nigerian values. <laughs> yeah. America is not like Nigeria. In America, imagine babes. You're going to, you're going to come in the toy table is one five. We'll put our money together. Everybody will bring their 300, 400. We'll get to the club. As a man, you come and join us on the table and be drinking that champagne with us. That's rubbish. Going out in America is so dynamic. Gotta experience the like, sh champagne. Yay. I feel like there are only two places in America that have had mad rocks. Miami because Miami is Miami. And Atlanta. Which rocks do you have in Atlanta? When we went to uh, Ace. Went to Ace and I went to... 
Hey, I, I don't know if I should say this. Follies before they close down. That was it's like, Follies. Follies, Follies, whatever. That Damn, thing is mad. Damn, African ass. Uh, <laughs> 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 that was a mad one. Then, where else? We've had some... Coco Bongo will always be my top. Coco top Bongo. Top two and it ain't two. Rocks. Dubai, I uh, white in Dubai mad. Oh, yeah, I've had some nice uh, Dubai has, has had some, we've had some mad nights in Dubai. Um, where else? Um... I'm just saying my worst clubbing experience is any club that they're playing house music. From the door, <laughs> from the door I'm already angry. <laughs> I'm already livid. Confirming my African ass. Yes, I'm yes. an African ass. I like it. I hate house music. If I go to the club, I need I need them to be, either be rapping in my head. In my head. Let me, let me rap screaming me. screaming down screaming her eardrum. Down my, my eardrum or some some Afro beats. I hate my piano and I hate house music. Wow, sorry about that, babes. No if problem. you ask me, I would say that that Vola P party that was definitely my best night. It, it was my first proper night out clubbing. Mm-hmm. I got Sorry, wasted. Sorry, Paul. Still going back to, I've been putting niggas on, changing niggas Whatever. my whole life. Whatever. All my life I had to fight. <laughs> <laughs> I got wasted. Like my first time ever we getting both got like wasted. fucked. And my brothers were in the club that day. Um, they were just so embarrassed. They were so, so, so embarrassed. I remember going to the bathroom to take pictures, and I just never came out. <laughs> yeah. I never came out. Someone has got a yeah, my brother yeah, is that. that is, 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 I remember uh, who it was. You have your sister in the toilet, and you, she, you, you need to come get her. Yeah. So they now had to end up like, sorry, 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 sorry ladies, sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry, <laughs> sorry about that. And they carried me home. Yeah. But guess what? Will I do it again? Damn yes. Right. <laughs> One trillion billion percent. Um, in, I don't know... Do you guys think that there's a recipe for a good night? Like I was literally about to ask Isa, what do you think as a club owner? What is the as a club guaranteed recipe for good vibes in a club? The right people. Literally, like I think you can have a good time anywhere once you're around the right people. I don't think there's any oh, let's pre-drink. I've had nights where I've woken up and gone straight to the club that have been crazy. I've had nights that I've bar crawled and gotten to the club and I was really tired. I've had nights where I've bar crawled. I had the best nights of my life. So I, I just think once you're with the right people. Okay. So the vibe in the club doesn't really matter. It plays a part, but the, for me, like, I can have... Yo, I've had some random nights. So, for example, earlier this year, I went to go and meet some of my old friends. And it was, it was all girls, like, my female friends. I used to go and meet them in Zemba downstairs. They were just having... There was nobody else in Zemba apart from them. It was literally... Like six babes. But that's their pee now. They always go yeah. there. Six babes, me and my partner Fresh. Mm-hmm. And I had so much fun. Right. So it's not really about like, yeah. Yeah, the people. Right. Whenever I hear Zemba, I think sip. And whenever I see things sip, I think a few things. Fire. <laughs> running for your life. The, running, the day when there was a fire, the way one getting, of the speakers caught fire. Getting, yeah, getting beat up outside of sip. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Bitches be- fighting. Bitches fighting outside sip. I remember the bouncer that asked me for 40k yeah. when my salary was 50k at the time. <laughs> Wait, 40k is getting. Yes. No, he said, no, what he said was that he's that. We were regular. We used to go to oh, the hotel. Okay. So he saw Kevin and was like, "Ah, how far now?" That his wife had a baby and and the naming ceremony is on Sunday. So Kevin oh, showed up. Yes, and how she said forty k. Kevin was like, said, "Nigga." Yeah, I was trying to give you like two k. Yeah, I'd be forty k. When I think about club, and I think about the liquid nights where people are outside. Oh shit! Yes, I liquid. forgot about that. Um, clinic, clinic. Um, clinic. Yes, rehab, rehab that year. Yeah, yeah, wow, yeah. I forgot. I can't believe I forgot to mention My 18th birthday was at rehab. I still have the pictures of us. I re, I re, I re, resurface those pictures every year of feeling. <laughs> so that was a damn yeah. good night. Yeah, shout out Lolu. Lolu, Lolu held it down for, for a good number of years. And you know why I liked rehab? I think that that was a time when forming was minimal. Yes, so I remember yes. like at the end of some nights, you'll find, I you know, there were times when my brother would come and I always close that drench because they all just got drunk and like jumped yeah, in. Yeah, jumped in the yeah. pool, yeah. Yeah. Do you think people will jump in the pool and make up? I know that there's one way people get in that. People do it, but it's not like it's before. It's not like before. Like, yeah. Before that, yeah, who cares? Like, everybody will just be out to have a good time. Now people are more like, oh, who's people watching People are for me, me. Oh, yeah. yeah let me First, I actually remember at night where we all got stupidly drunk. And thinking about it now, I was like, me, b David, Wiz, I think the Prince. Just a very random group of people. That, random to people di- that now, but that time, obviously, we all used to hang out together. But I actually can't believe I forgot, like, rehab memories. Yeah, rehab was a good one. Yeah, definitely. And um, what's it called? 
I think another thing is I really like unplanned nights. Yes. That go well because it can the, also go really bad. Those yeah. are the best. The when you're just vibing like, and we've, we we usually we've had more of daytime of that lately where we we'll yeah. say oh, let's go for Sunday brunch Monday. and then we end up yeah. at Sunday Monday where. So we started doing Sunday fun day where we'll go somewhere and eat. Then oh, your own piece. No, I thought you meant like something was no, 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 close. No, no, no. We'll eat somewhere. Then when we finish eating, we go to Mako. And, and then we have like card games, board games. We we'll just dress and have a good time. And have like a nice Sunday. Sometimes we get reckless. Yeah. But sometimes we get reckless. And we have no business doing that again. Let but. me tell you something. The next morning, Adele called me and we were both like, why did we do that? Like, you know, yeah, we didn't shout. We were just like, why? Why? What, what, what was the reason we were just that? having a good time. Our vibes are just flowing. And then we now went to stupid. Well, the place we went to is not stupid, but well, we, we had no else. business going yeah. there. Can you share the name of the place? No free promo. Give me money. <laughs> no free promo. Fair. How box is any place that gets free promo on this? Fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. No, but when you think about in the history of clubs in Lagos, let's let's rank clubs. Ah. In that history of right in in like in history, like historically. You know other in my time in my era, Sha. Obviously, Hotbox, Rehab, Liquid, 57. Ah, 57. 57. Caliente. Ah, Caliente too. Those are my top five. One. Caliente was a good one. 57 stroke back because obviously it changed. Yeah. Um, My first Lagos night out were a lot of Bacchus and Caliente. Then obviously, even 45 changed to Insomnia. I had a lot of fun in Insomnia. I don't think remember. Remember this song here too. That yeah. was a good one. Um, I was like 16, 17. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We have no business doing the things we used we to do. That's the truth of the matter. <laughs> yeah, those, yeah, between those. But. but I guess that's also why now things don't shock us yeah, like that. Sh- I feel like if you've done things in life at this stage, you're not like, oh my God, I have to go clubbing. Even now, yeah. we end up at Hotbox on days when we're like, we're having a good night and we're like, let's keep the vibe yeah. going. Not like every Friday night, we must go, we must go, we must go. It's just like if the vibe is right. So my clubs are not thoughts. No, I'm just saying at this point in time, we're not like, no, oh, no, my I'm God, messing oh, my you, I'm God. Don't get, don't I always ask. tell you, you don't have to respond to everything. Uh, you have I to know, make people are fucking with you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no. I wanted to ask something, and I forgot. Do you know, when I think about backwards, I think about New Year's, because in my mind, yeah. it was always like that. From both club New Year's party, you have to go to yeah. back us mm-hmm. to those round yes, up the New Year's yes. where you're acting, we're giving them some panache because of mommy and daddy. Yeah. And you now yeah. go down the street to back us, you now finish yourself. Yeah, yeah. back us. Was... That was a good one. Six degrees north. I know, because it was fun. Yeah. Do you, do you guys... <laughs> Sorry, I always have, like, random memories of things that, like, connect to each other. So there was liquid that right outside liquid, there was the food cart called Chop Box. So you come out of liquid and you well, now yeah, go to Chop Box. That. Do you remember? Yes, I do. And you now go there. Then you now became the place that people still go to that I really believe is a money laundering place. Um, that's it's the, a casino now, isn't it? Is it? Where liquid is to No, 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 no. Like after that liquid, when people are need to chow. Oh, um, oh, I know you're talking about the yes. Chinese restaurant. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> if you chow that Chinese in the middle of the night, <laughs> you'll be tasting so mad. When you wake up in the morning, you see what you ate. <laughs> there was one day my friend, my friend, her husband and I were we left Zoria to go to, to. We were like, we need to eat this Chinese. We were we literally squeezed ourselves into my car. And we, did, we, did, we couldn't find a driver. But it doesn't matter. My car is here. We got into my car and went to Prime Chinese. We ordered, 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 ordered. And the bill was like 50 something K. Three people. Different about what, were we, what, 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 what did we have any, any business eating? I woke up in the morning and I saw that food. I almost fainted. I said, This is what you were eating. Nasty. Nasty. And even if you try and order that food in the afternoon. Hey, <laughs> God. Did they even open in the afternoon? They, they do it 24 hours. Are you serious? It's 24 hours. Damn. I don't know how the, that that Shit, that. Prime, that Prime Chinese has saved my life. In, in yeah, my no, youth. Now you saying the name. I, I don't know. Everybody knows the twenty four hour Chinese. Everybody knows it's Prime Chinese. Your mind keeps yeah. for it. I know. I've had some memorable nights at Prime Chinese. <laughs> that year, my my first my first crush, <laughs> my first babe that year, my first serious babe from Bola, we always used to give the Prime Chinese on our J's. Or oh, end up going there with all my guys. No, Prime Chinese was yeah, actually no, a lot of fun. Yeah, no, I can't lie. Oh, there's history like, the, there. The, the vibes yes, in Prime Chinese. There's history there, but the food is not good. 
you guys know an era that I, I think about to date? The, the era of named parties. Yes. She. Yes. There was an era of named, named parties. Party. Virus. One if one, the invitation will not have like 15, uh, 15 names. 15 like names. Planners. Yeah. They just yeah. started doing clicks of guys yeah, yeah, and yeah, girls. Yeah, these guys. I remember. Yeah, no, no, there okay. was Sin. I'll never forget that Sin party because that's Rax or whatever. Sin was like a house party. It was a house party. Mm-hmm. And, and Vigo, right. Vigo called me like a few days later, being like, come and see you, they're spreading the rumor about you. That was... You've been my nigga from time, I love you, <laughs> guy. I was like, come on, somebody is going to spread the rumor about you, blah, blah, blah. He said, but don't worry, I've, I've already had that it didn't happen. Hey. I rang the guy to like three years ago. <laughs> 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 yeah, so there was scene, there was... And we just get like very juices? random. What's one called this is? For Possibly. sure, there was definitely one called this is. That's what I remember. Then in the part, in those naming eras, there was also... The era where people were now just naming things after Jay Z versus an oh, album, yes. Black Blueprints, Party, Black Blueprints, yeah. Kingdom Come. We had, uh, we, uh, we had a uh, we boys give them Allure. Yeah, yeah Allure. Allure, yes, Allure one and two. Allure one and Allure two. <laughs> you know what's so funny about Allure? That was when we were in secondary school in Nigeria. Yes. And the party was in jazz. In jazz. We went to school on one day and we were like, "Chai, we missed that hot drugs." <laughs> you know what people in school were like? Ah, did you see what they were doing in London this weekend? So bad. Me and me are coming with a ha. We wish we were in the rock so. <laughs> <laughs> that that's uh, that's uh, that period because it was like four parties. It was a lot endless. There was one of that was that that was one of my best stretches of time in London. I had too much fun. No, no, no. So there was the name we, party. We've had a good Please, time. why did we used to go clubbing and dress as if we were going to the office, bro? No, but that was fashion bro, that time. Now, can't can, 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 yeah, cool, yeah. Waistcoat. Why are you wearing a waistcoat? <laughs> why are you wearing <laughs> peplum top to the fucking? <laughs> or you wear a sweater and a tie? Yes. <laughs> That's a vapor. Babes go in blazer and, and <laughs> pencil <laughs> skirts. <laughs> With the one at Pola. <laughs> one at Pola like this. What? What's that? You know at Pola. Like, how you have block here like block this? <laughs> you guys are crazy. <laughs> <laughs> you roll up in one at Pola. They won't put it without toast you. You know? You, and, you know, and then <laughs> that was also the time when like, okay, then you now move into the time when everybody had now like, had now like gone to school abroad. So you have maybe 20 pounds in your, ca- your account. Everybody go and pack themselves in one person's house. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody go and pack themselves in one person's house. Wear their office baths. Go to the club. The next morning, somebody's mommy is calling. You don't have to start lying that. And those are the same people that when they are in night, they don't go out because... Do you know the worst part about this thing? The morning, you now see Facebook album. album. With like 100 pictures. You yeah. just see yourself there looking crazy. And all the poses like... <laughs> nah, it was... That, that was a very, 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 very wild time. The makeup, dead. dead. Babs dead, dead. Head, everything, head, dead. everything dead. The yarns get the we think that guys behind you dead. dead. But we were stupid, so to us it was, was mad. mad. <laughs> then that, that was like and it, it came with so many things. So there are things that guys would yarn us and I would I would like yarn I would spin shorts and well spin munch yeah. at the time. I was giving them that I was giving that sense that they will now plan the response, but the, like the whole thing was just I think that that time in life was just so it was dynamic. So it was so simple. When you look back at it, it was so simple because we were so young and so dumb. We didn't know better. We were just like on vibes. Do you know, one boy told that they, they were trying to talk to her. I told her that she dances better than Ashakira. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's, crazy. That that's, cra- that's crazy. That's crazy. I just cannot dance. I cannot dance to save my life. Because um, even when she read the message, she knew she was lying. <laughs> I shook at me. I said, "Me, that's better than Shakira. That's crazy." And this was how the hips don't lie. When they were saying that she removed her ribs. <laughs> that was terrible. No, we've actually been through a very, very interesting time with clubbing. Um, but the Gen Zs are doing a different thing. You know, my people now. Kikanokt. Do the reason I love Gen Zs. They don't send anybody. They don't send anybody. They, papa. Send anybody, don't send papa. Anybody. they are just moving, moving, and the rocks are like, okay, oh, Cad Rock Cafe Friday night. There's a. They'll just they have like a Obi's DJ there. Well. Mm. They'll just be a DJ there. They'll all match themselves up inside. No, it's a, no. Trust me, because even with like our events, like block parties, sometimes when I see like the energy. Or the way these guys come in by turns, I'm like, wow. I do not have this kind of. I don't think I ever I, had that no, kind of power. No, no, no. I can't like that. Doing it big. <laughs> All right, guys, let's go on to unhinged tweets. Mm-hmm. So I love the stupid part of Twitter. I'm always seeing dumb tweets. So I'm going to read some of the things that I've seen on Twitter. Let it roll. What's the worst thing a woman has done on a date? Bro, we were sitting down at the restaurant. I had to go and use the bathroom, and she put her leg out and tripped me. Oh, yeah, I've seen that one before. <laughs> <laughs> I think that one before. Why would you do that? Uh, why would you do that? Uh-huh. She hates that man. She was never going on the second date. She Somebody would be like, as a man, you're not even supposed to trip. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Okay, um, then there is, so there's two pictures. This babe had like chose burns, badly burns. So she put the before and the after. First comment, whoa, fire emoji. Response, <laughs> you won't give her PTSD. <laughs> wow, that's fucked. That's fucked like, yeah, I can't yeah, lie. That's, 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 that's fucked up. Okay. If I impregnated a girl by mistake and I said sorry, is there still a need for me to raise the child? Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> wow. I mean, he said sorry. He said he's sorry. Wow. So someone tweeted something, I don't know. And then someone replied, I get where she's coming from. I'm 47 and I don't have any kids. I feel unfulfilled. I make $180,000 a year. I own two successful companies. I have three look guys listing all his fees. Someone said, damn, man, all that and you're still bitchless. <laughs> you got to do better, dog. Stay up, though. <laughs> <laughs> There's something wrong with him. Maybe his dick doesn't work. Because all of that, I don't have a babe. No, he's not telling us the truth. He doesn't have game. Doesn't have he doesn't have game. No, but even if you have bio, you always find someone, even the person wants to chuck your bio, you still have somebody. Maybe has bio or something. There's something wrong with him. Okay, let's see. Biden is giving out giving out three thousand six hundred dollars per kid. I'm going to the abortion clinic. I need my son back. Jesus Christ. <laughs> let's go back to an era of secrets. Yes, I, I think, think people, we should go back I to think that. people talk too much these days. I think people talk way too much these days. And we should just I think our, 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 our parents yeah. had the, the, the secret P on lock. Yes. We don't have it on lock. We talk too much. I think there should be a middle ground. Our parents, they kept a bit too many secrets. But us, everybody just yanning and yanning. Everybody and yanning just talks anyhow these days. Secret stuff. So, the guy has a view. The guy has a Any secret drop. Everywhere. You just buzz. <laughs> 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 yeah, I'll, I'll read one more. My fiancé told me of his bisexual past. But now he's ready to settle down with me. <laughs> Problem, he must travel mentally. He says he must, every time he wants to have sex with me, he says he must travel mentally. <laughs> so he gets high all the time. <laughs> he gags when I'm nude. My friends say he's still gay. Of course he's gay. And he gay. just needs a place to stay. Of course he's still gay. If a man has to think about that man to sleep with you. Okay, okay, okay. So now we've gotten to my segment of the show. I'm going to read some unhinged stories. So first story, I was wearing a pair of ankle boots in the club and a guy threw up on my leg. The vomit proceeds to run down my legs into my boots. <laughs> I went to the bathroom to try and clean up, but obviously everything was mushy. My friends were not ready to leave, so I just sat at the table upset. This same man sobered up and tried to take me home. <laughs> There's nothing worse than you're wearing boots, and if this person is, if if depending on where, depending on where this person is, wearing those boots that Americans like those that mini boots, <laughs> you now be. Oh. No, she said ankle boots. Yes, yeah, so exactly it's that boots. mini boots. That's Bootlets. disgusting. Oh. Slip and slide. Oh. <laughs> They're just nasty. Okay, my second story. It was my birthday, and I went clubbing with my friends. I had a budget and ordered according to my budget. Soon after, two guys from across the club send us two bottles of azul. They come and dance with us, and we catch a vibe. I thank them, and they said, oh, no problem. Yo, and then, everything is like <laughs> <laughs> I even asked the waitress who ordered, and, the, and she said it was from them. They left the club before us. Time to leave, and the bouncer stops us, saying we must pay for our zoo. Ah, who the who ordered our zoo? <laughs> First of all, why did the men do that? I want to catch some cool phone with some ladies. No, but there's nothing worse than when somebody comes to interrupt your vibe and they now scatter the whole pee. So imagine they've had a mad night thinking that ah, we've got more than what we budgeted <laughs> for. The hope was renewed. The hope was <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. I see what gosh. you did there. Ah, um, <laughs> if that happens to you, what will you do? Ah, Jesus. I'll call you, sir. I'll call you, sir. I'll call my because I'll insult her shit day. I'll call you, sir. For the I'll next I'll see. For the next two years, I'll oh. visit against her. I'll call you, sir. Dead me. No, if I have the bar, I'll pay if I don't have the bar, I'll call you, sir. Well, ah, yeah. So, like, Master will block you, they can't go outside. You can't go outside. Like, oh, go oh, oh, and pay your money. Yeah. If I have the money, I'll pay. But if yeah. I don't have the money, I'll buzz now. Imagine that they don't have to mop the floor because <laughs> you don't have the money. You're not, you're not going to do that. You're not going to do that. You're not going to at 9 o'clock and slept the whole night. No, I'll call your staff. I don't be in uh, wherever she is. We'll be like, we'll come and be like, so No, I'll call your staff. You they'll come clean, and clean. Clean. Then they'll clean booths. No, I'll just... Ah, domestics. Idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I went clubbing uh, and got totally hammered. I saw a girl I liked, and in preparation to talk to her, I went to the bathroom and forced myself to throw up. 
Thinking. What's, what's the logic behind that? <laughs> thinking that it will sober. No, when, when you're drunk and you throw up, it sobers you up. Sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> thinking it will sober me up. I came out of the bathroom, approached her, and started dancing with her. I'm annoyed already. In my, in my drunkenness, you threw up I forgot again. that I threw up and I tried to kiss her with my vomit mouth. <laughs> she must have tasted my nastiness because she lost it, pushed me away, and a fight broke out in the club. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to be <laughs> So if, I, if I'm the baby, I'll slap you guys. It's too <laughs> short. Oh, oh, my God. Do you know God. what you'll be tasting? Oh, it will not be well with that. Yeah, yeah, that baby, the guy that chopped a bar and okra before he left home. He had Guinness <laughs> suya with his pretty drinks. It was not that nice. Oh. I don't really want Guinness. Oh. He had that Guinness tequila in the club. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, 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 no. One last story. I went to the strip club with a bunch of my male friends. They handed me and my friend who had brought her friend. So three of them. Like me, you, and then you brought somebody. So you call me a bitch. I said you, no her. No, you, her. Okay. So my me, my friend who who brought her friend. They gave so us why can't I become your friend? <laughs> they gave us some <laughs> stacks of money. Obviously we're in a strip club. Tell me why the friend proceeds uh, me, I to, put, to <laughs> Tell me why the friend proceeds to put the money in her handbag. Uh, I mean, I got big <laughs> <too fair. laughs> <Too fair. laughs> Do you know how embarrassing that is? Ah, I knew I just should probably be like 200 and 100. Do you get it? You just said squishing it inside your bag. Too fair now. Too fair. Too fair. That's bad. That's really bad. That's, That's very bad. Really, really, really bad. I'll blast you and the friend. But what if people just pretend to like <laughs> spray something? Okay, they give you five one, we'll spray like four now and just I, keep uh, on. Wow. That's what I can This is way too dynamic. Issa, right. did you enjoy yes. coming on our podcast? Mm-hmm. Will you come back again? Y'all pay me. Because you guys took a lot of my time. No problem. No time problem. is money. We'll time pay. is money. Why, you, why, 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 off and coming in? Uh, no, but you know, I know I'll give you discounts. That's, you know, you know what to highlight now. <laughs> anyway. That's an OPT and email. Anyway. Um, Please, you're, your you're, you're pushing the mic down. Sorry. I'm Clearly, you're, you're no. sick and tired of us. Bro, you've been disturbing my life for 31 years. Damn, okay. it's crazy. All right, guys. Um, thanks so much for coming on our podcast. Um, I'm going to take us to her box tonight. Unfortunately, you are right now. Your I'm, on, <laughs> I'm on sick leave right now. I will not be wearing any boots to no fucking hot box. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, Where did you find all these kind of people? The ah. internet. Yama, yama people. Yeah, yeah. All right, all right, all right. You know where to find us. We're online. We're on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok at UnhingedNG. <laughs> Send us your... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know where to find you. Yes, I know where to find Inside you. Inside club, vomiting. I'm lip-seeing, lip-seeing, Find us in hot box. Even though they say I don't take it, but it's going to be there. <laughs> um, well, yeah. She's an independent well, lady. Yes, now I'm independent, babe. We're mm. independent mm. fine now. We don't need... Life kids. content. Life content. If you're not papa. following life content... Like, so, what uh, are you doing? You can't even say the life content by pops. Oh, dear. <laughs> the life content by pops. Can't even say well. <laughs> ah, my brain, my brain was pussy. Slow go do. Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok are on him's ND. Hey, he's going to do it. Ah, God. This is for me that I see in my head. <laughs> well, I've been working too hard today, please. <laughs> All right, send us your story. You got problem with Gen Z. Um, Small work. We're working too hard. Yeah, no, yeah, I'm not a Gen Z now. Mm. Just, it's lonely. Out you there. are not Gen Z. It's lonely at the top. I'm not a grandma. I'm not a grandma. I'm a millennial. Yeah, send yeah, us your yeah, story yeah. with yeah. our questions, please. Yeah. I will see you in the same place next week. Mm. Let's continue our family chats. <laughs> let's, talk, let's talk off camera. Bye. Bye. <laughs>